Well, it's another warm welcome back again, all my vintage dirt bike YouTubers, and thanks for your continuing support of my classic dirt bike TV channel. Now, next up, we're going back to the 1970s when small British manufacturers were producing some of the best four-stroke dirt bikes in the country. And in this clip, we're going to focus on a few examples built by a classic bike builder, the very talented Rod Spry. And in this uh, particular video, we're going to look at just a few of Rod's creations. Now Rod's day job is repairing and restoring uh, these old uh, types of classic uh, dirt bikes and many of uh, his projects have regularly appeared in magazines and uh, also here on my classic uh, dirt bike TV channel. But such is the very high quality work that Rod produces uh, that this very small selection of CCM bikes are just a few uh, from his workshop. And uh, these particular shots were taken at the Cumberland Grand National Scramble uh, back in 2016. And these featured Alan Clue's classics uh, weren't just for show as uh, Rod and his brother Chris were about to race them at this uh, 2016 Cumberland uh, Scramble event. Now I'm certainly no expert when it comes to these old uh, Clues competition machines uh, bikes, but uh, back in the day, Alan Clues uh, and his very talented workforce did build some of the best looking British four-strokers of their time. And uh, this particular model, I think, is a 1973 bike. But uh, replica frames and other parts for these CCMs are now uh, quite common uh, these days and there are a multitude of small manufacturers out there now making uh, chassis and fuel tanks and uh, replacement panels and other small parts for these bikes. And many of the replacement items are of such good quality these days that uh, it's quite hard to actually distinguish them from the factory originals. But these uh, B50 BSA motors are uh, maybe not as common though and uh, there are still a few original engines out there and again uh, there are sources out there making engine components although uh, the crankcases to put them in are uh, certainly getting harder to find. Although if you're one of the very fortunate owners who still have an original factory motor in your Allen Clues bike from the 1970s then you are indeed in a very elite group as uh, good quality original motors can fetch good money when they come up for sale uh, which of course is not very often because of the rarity. But there have been uh, many configurations of Clues bikes built uh, down through the years and uh, this bike with its black painted alloy tank and the yellow panels is certainly uh, one of the nicer looking ones. But this bike still has its original Clues uh, front brake hub with the magnesium back plate and uh, the forks are again the real McCoy as uh, Rod almost always uses the original parts wherever possible when he builds a bike in order to keep the bike's uh, authenticity as correct as possible. And these uh, CCM brake back plates are as rare as hen's teeth and not all of these restored CCMs are fitted with them as I've seen uh, micro hubs and even CZ parts used as substitutes. But the rear hub and brake on this bike is certainly the proper CCM part. Although you have to admit this is still a very beautiful looking bike, there's uh, certainly no question about that. And if I could afford it myself, I'd uh, soon make some room to accommodate it in my garage. But uh, next up, it's another of uh, Rod's CCM creations. And again, uh, I'm not exactly sure what this bike is, although it does look like it could be a 1979 Ford Valver, which again is another of the uh, rarer CCM uh, motors. But uh, without question, this is another uh, cracking looking uh, CCM, that's for sure, with that uh, chrome plated chassis and the Olin's 
uh, piggyback rear suspension units uh, on the rear. Now these four valve uh, CCM motors were 500cc or uh, 498cc if you want its true uh, title and if I remember uh, these engines pushed out about 50 horsepower. Now they also had a three speed gearbox as I recall although there was an option uh, for a four speeder although in reality with the torque that these motors produced you only really needed two gears and that was one to get you off the line and another just to get you around the track. Now some of the other stats about these bikes were that they had a, a five plate uh, clutch and a bore of 84 millimeters and a stroke of about uh, 90 uh, millimeters but again uh, these were just awesome power plants and it uh, suited that quite light uh, chrome molly steel frame uh, just perfectly. Now these steel CCM frames were uh, placed on a jig at the Allen Clues uh, Bolton factory back in the day and were mostly welded using bronze and argon welding and if you could actually see the welding before these frames were chromed you would then be able to see the superb workmanship that went into their construction. But as you can see this is still another uh, quality CCM bike from uh, Rod Spry's workshop and as you can see it's been built to a very high standard. Now although Rod builds and races these uh, machines as far as I'm aware they're all available for sale and uh, what better endorsement for your workmanship than to let uh, potential buyers see the actual bikes in action on the racetrack. Although of course uh, these few bikes that we're looking at here were filmed uh, back in 2016 uh, so the chances are that uh, they're already in the hands of their new owners. Okay moving on to our last uh, Rod Spry creation and to finish off we'll take a look at this uh, 1974 uh, CCM. Now again I may be wrong here although this bike certainly looks to me like it's a 1974 608 uh, CC uh, Clues Classic and I'm sure that uh, this bike is one of the uh, long stroking NEB motors that is uh, fitted to this particular bike. Although these 1974 uh, CCMs are now uh, one of the more popular models and now being uh, remanufactured these days and uh, the likes of Joe Maxwell Engineering in Dumfries in Scotland can build you a brand new 1974 CCM that's almost identical in all respects to the original bike and uh, Joe is also a very good contact if you need parts for these uh, 74 uh, CCM machines. Now again the rear brake backplate is another CCM original part but uh, these are becoming harder to come across these days if you want the real original uh, clues parts fitted to your bike. Now a very nice pair of uh, Falcon classic shocks here which of course uh, replace what would have been the old girdling units uh, back in 1974. But uh, this uh, CCM engine is a very intimidating uh, lump of a motor and uh, it just oozes torque by the bucket load and uh, hopefully we'll have a chance to have a listen to this uh, engine uh, just shortly. Now the old ignition system on these bikes uh, have been changed for a more uh, modern electronic electrics world uh, system which is of course more reliable and makes uh, starting the bike uh, that much easier. Now of course no tailpipe to speak of on these big clues four banger motors just a straight through uh, big bore pipe but uh, then again why would you want to quieten down the lovely sound that you get uh, from these superb B50 motors. Although that big 600cc motor it certainly looked like it weighs a ton just sitting in the light uh, tubular uh, CCM chassis but standing still a lot of motorcycles do look heavy as well you know even the heaviest of bikes uh, shed their weight 
once you get them on the move. And this Alan Clues bike is certainly uh, no different in that respect. Now these 74s also had that very slim alloy gas tank with the traditional uh, Monza style uh, fuel cap on the top. Now the engine's oil of course was also housed in the frame and was filled through a filler plug uh, just ahead of the front of the gas tank. And so that's our final uh, CCM bike for this particular uh, video so uh, let's now just get Rod to fire this bike up and let's all have a listen do what she sounds like. Okay, so there you have it, a few nice uh, CCM bikes from the Rod Spry Workshop. Now if these are the kind of bikes that you like to view here on YouTube then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more of these old bikes from back in the day. Now next up we'll be taking a look at this uh, very nice Honda CR250 from uh, Jai R Racing. So I do hope you'll return to see that when we speak again here on Classic Dirt Bike TV.